Yo, what's up guys? Gorilla Bear Tech. Back at you again with another product review, this time of a Bluetooth speaker, guys. Now I know this is my first Bluetooth speaker review, okay? Or even unboxing for that matter, but this isn't an unboxing. Once again, I do not own this product. I'm unaware of the pricing. Uh, my father actually bought it when he had his business, which uh, he recently sold. And I guess somebody either brought it in and sold it to him for a good price or he purchased it himself, but I'm, I'm aware that, you know, it's his, he owns it, and it's currently in our house, and we use it to, you know, listen to music, basically, whether it's, you know, Spanish music, uh, you know, Middle Eastern, doesn't matter what type of music it is, it does a great job at playing music. Now, guys, it's a great Bluetooth speaker. Once again, I don't know the price on this speaker, but I am aware that it's a Hitachi brand. Okay, now you can't really tell what the speakers look like because it's see-through. And my Google Nexus 7 second generation tablet won't pick it up right now. But as you can tell, the top portion is where the buttons are located. Okay, the power button, the, uh, the icons, okay. Now you got the Wi-Fi right there all the way to the right. You got the Bluetooth in the middle and the power, okay? Basically, it just tells you that it's on and it's connected to Bluetooth and to Wi-Fi. Now you can connect this with a computer, you know, such as a laptop, a tablet, you know, a desktop computer. It works on all of them, guys. I mean, this, this is great, guys. It's a great product. It works on every single one of them. And it is compatible with iPhone. Uh, which is Apple, and it's also compatible with Android products, okay? Now, for the Android users, it does have NFC, NFC capabilities, okay? So all you got to do is basically take your Android phone or tablet and just tap it to the top of it, and it should automatically turn on. It should automatically light up Bluetooth, okay? It just turns itself on. Because I have that function on my Blue Ant uh, Pump Zone headphones, okay? They're the, uh, the base headphones, Really awesome headphones. If you haven't seen that review, guys, check it out. Now, basically very simple, guys. You know, you got the buttons right here. Play, pause, you know, volume down and volume up. This video, I guess, is just to repeat the track or repeat the video. I'm not sure what that button does. Once again, I don't know the pricing. And the functions are very basic, guys. Now, I will show you the left side and the right side and also the model uh, I am unaware of the model but I will, show, I will show you the bottom of it before I turn it on and actually do a little demonstration for you guys since I don't always do demos uh, <laughs> on my video you know when I'm doing reviews or unboxings well not unboxings but when I'm doing review videos I don't demo products for you guys and I should so I'm you know I'm new to doing that it's a fresh start because I just got back to this YouTube game again. And I'm happy to be back, guys, because, you know, I want you guys to be happy. I want you guys to enjoy my videos, find entertainment out of them. You know, thrill, excitement, you know. And even if I may sound stupid or dumb on my reviews or my unboxings, I'm still providing entertainment for you guys, okay? At my expense. Now, before I get it turned on, guys, I just want to show you underneath Okay, there's a little sticker right here, you know, QC passes. And um, there you go, now it's function. It's functioning. Okay, it's the sticker right at the center underneath it. Okay, it's a Wi-Fi speaker. All right, it's an awesome speaker, guys. I wish I knew the pricing, but I don't. Pause and read this for yourselves, okay? I will demo some music for you just to provide a little bit more entertainment and sorry for the uh, the skewers, okay? I do come from a Middle Eastern family. We are of Middle Eastern descent. Uh, I am an Assyrian American and we often cook kebabs and chicken and tomatoes and eggplants, you name it. You know, we just slide it onto these skewers and we do barbecues with them from time to time. So, you know, that's not part of this review, guys. So just excuse me for that. Now I am going to turn it on for you. Now basically, the power button is at the back, okay? Sorry, I can't get it to focus. Now there is a uh, little telephone port right here. I guess that's for the Wi-Fi. 
you know, when you need to con connect it to a, uh, a tablet or a, a desktop computer. Not a tablet, I'm sorry. A laptop or a desktop computer. And basically the cable that plugs into the wall, the wall mount uh, plug. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it on and you'll see it emit a blue light. Should be blue from what I know. Okay, no, it's red when you first initially turn it on. Now it's picking up a Wi-Fi signal that's flashing blue and red. That means basically, well, that's not pairing mode. Hold on real quick, guys. That's just the Wi-Fi mode. I've never used that, but uh, I'm going to connect it to my iPhone 5 right now and let you guys demo some music through my phone. Trying to get it connected. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on. It is an awesome Bluetooth speaker, guys. I mean, it's, it's big, too. For its size, it's really big. It's not something you can just put in your pocket or lunge around. You know? Hang on, guys. I'm having some troubleshooting issues. Uh, hang on real quick. Sorry for the dogs. Got three Pomeranians in the house. Shout out to you guys that have dogs, have Pomeranians. Okay. Oops. Not going to break it. Don't worry, guys. Why isn't it starting? Guys, if I can't get it started, if I can't sample it, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. It normally works. It doesn't have issues like this. I mean, I get it started just like that, but... Somebody must have tampered with it. It is in the kitchen, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does not want to turn on. What's going on? Anyways, guys, sorry. That's a little bit embarrassing. I really want to demo it for you. It's saying connection unsuccessful. And, uh. Yeah, sorry guys. Anyways, I'm going to add some background music to this video because the last three videos, you know, four videos I just put out, I didn't add any music like I normally do to all of my videos. I know my older videos didn't have any music. Uh, these last four didn't as well. So I do apologize on that. But when I get back to doing this, well, not just this video, but my NSD spinner review videos like I promised I would, I'm going to add music to the videos. Okay, guys? It's not going to be uh, my own music. It's actually going to be uh, music from YouTube, supplied by YouTube, like I always have been doing. So, thanks, thank you guys a lot. I appreciate it. I can't get this damn thing started, and I'm very upset. But uh, hope you found some entertainment out of this video, some humor. Uh, you know, once again, <laughs> I am very apologetic about this uh, malfunction, this uh, technical difficulty. But um, once I sort it out. I may put out another video, or I may not, but uh, just stay tuned for the rest of my videos, guys, okay? I got uh, more videos coming out, and be sure to just stick around, all right? Hope you guys always enjoy my content. Once again, that's the symbol for NFC, and if some of you were unaware of what this symbol actually stood for, basically stands for uh, NFC, which is Near Field Communication, Okay? I was actually new to that for a while. I didn't even know what it was about, but now I know because I've been using it with my tablet, you know, pairing my headphones to my tablet, you know, and stuff like that. So it actually comes in handy, guys, for those of you who have uh, Android products, okay? But anyway, guys, iPhone and uh, Android compatible, all right? Gorilla Bear Tech signing out. Please like, share, dislike, comment down below, subscribe if you have not, and always click the notification bell. Forgot to mention that in the previous videos, but stay tuned, guys. Be back at you with another video. All right.